You okay, Emmy? You having a rough day? It's okay. Welcome back to the vlog, everybody. In the last vlog, we installed the GK Tech angle kit. No, this is not at full lock yet. The wheel is currently hitting the coilovers, but this car is pretty much ready to go. I'm excited. This is gonna be my main drift car. The 350Z is my seat time car. I wanna eventually bring this car to Final Bout. I think Final Bout and all of the animal style videos really got me into drifting. And I don't know, it made me fall in love with all of the JDM cars and I would love to bring this car and drift once I get a little bit better. But today, we are finishing up the RX-7. Yes, the car's a little bit dirty. She needs a little wash. But let's go catch up with Luke and see what he's doing. We're gonna mount the tank. Uh, I don't think we ever showed this, but so we got a strut bar that I actually welded fittings onto. And the tank, the strut bar's been pressurized now. And the tank will sit and float kind of like that with hard lines going from the strut bar and then to the side panels. This is the first of all of the Eliminate cars to have a trunk set up with hard lines and we went with the seamless tank. And the bags are already installed on the car. All we were missing were the management and the tank of course. Thanks to bag riders, your new RX-7 is gonna be bagged. I know the car looked amazing static and I was able to drive that everywhere but I can't just assume that you guys can do it. So, thanks to bag riders, your car's gonna have airlift. Let me take you guys to the interior real quick. We did a little clean up for you guys. We've got all new floor mats. This car will be tuned on the Apex e Power FC. And my favorite little controller of all time from airlift. We're gonna give you guys a little upgrade on the radio as well. This came straight from Japan, and it's not the best looking, it's so bulky. Well guys, let's get today's video started. Hopefully by the end of today's vlog, this thing is gonna be able to air all the way down, but also at the same time, air all the way up. And we'll show you guys how much lift the car actually has, and uh, get this thing ready for the next winner. You know what, while Luke is working on the RX-7, I know a lot of you guys have subscribed since the R32 GTR days. Well, I guess you guys get a little bit of R32 content today as well. We have two packages right here from Tommy F. Yeah. And let's open this thing up. Let's get this thing back on the road. I finally have everything to put the RB27 back together. I know it's been a while. We've been waiting for so many things waiting on shipping to come from Japan, COVID delays and whatnot. But hidden right in this corner is our fully built RB27. Ah. Let's start putting everything back together in today's video as well. Emmy, are you okay? She's having a bad day. Also guys, a quick little update on what's going on. I know I told you guys last time that we were planning on moving into a mansion. Well, we kind of scrapped that idea. The mansion was a really cool idea, but after a year, just paying for a mansion is just gonna, you know, not really be worth it. So we've actually decided to upgrade our shop space. We have already completely grown out of this space. When we first moved in, I never thought that we'd be able to even fill this shop up. But thanks to you guys, it's time. Our next location should be coming very, very soon and I'm so excited. This shop space is almost 5,000 square feet. The next space is three times as large. We're currently doing paperwork and getting everything figured out, but it's looking really, really good. And we're actually planning on doing a little storefront that we're gonna open maybe once a month so that you guys can come out, hang out with us check out the cars in person, and we're gonna be doing exclusive drops where you have to come in person, and it won't be available on the website. And of course, I wanna hang out with you guys. I know COVID has been a huge issue, but things have been starting to get better, so I hope you guys are excited. I'll keep you guys up to date whenever I find out, but we might be moving out in the next month or two. And of course, with more shop space means 
what guys? More cars, more activities, and we wanted to turn this shop into the fantasy factory, but as you guys can tell, it's not really that big. The next location, we're gonna get rid of this mini ramp. We're gonna build an actual skate park inside the shop. Hopefully, if everything goes according to plan, and of course, if we get the spot. But another thing too, since I'm already here, I might as well tell you guys, I was gonna kind of keep it a secret, but with parking as well, the whole warehouse or the whole property is literally 40,000 square feet. So we're making a huge, huge upgrade and I'm just so excited. I hope you guys are excited as well. If you guys are, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out our videos so much. All right guys, let's open up all the boxes and show you guys what's inside. Dude, Tommy Effia came through. It's crazy to think that once upon a time, he used to hate me. He probably still does, but Tommy, if you're watching this, thank you so much. Check this out, guys. We've got new ITBs. Everything is sealed. Everything is zinc coated, if you guys could not tell. Tommy reached out to me and told me to send me everything that I had for the GTR. I didn't send him everything, but I sent him as much as I could. Oh my God. So if you guys didn't know, Tommy F. Yeah loves to restore his cars and he's kind of a hoarder of super, super rare parts. And a reason for why he hated us in the beginning was, he probably still hates us for all I know, was that we ruined these cars. But now I kind of get where Tommy kind of comes from. He loves these cars so much, and he literally takes it to the next level when bringing these cars back to life. The Eliminate Boys and I, you know, we came from low budget families, and you know, we're, I'm literally the first person in my family to be able to do all of this. And you know, we bought fake parts, and you already know there's a whole controversy behind the fake parts and real parts, and I understand both ways, but, Huge shout out to Tommy for showing me the other side, the never buy fake parts and blah, blah, blah side, I guess you can say. Dude, I am so excited. If you guys need anything at all, be sure to hit up Tommy F. Yeah in the DMs. I'm gonna leave his Instagram right here. Dude, this looks so beautiful. And honestly, now that all of this is here, I kind of regret not sending him more stuff to Zinco. The GTR is coming back and we need this to come back better than ever. I grabbed as much as I could, I guess you could say, but I think Tommy's just a hater because he loves these cars more than I guess you say we do. So, Tommy, I appreciate you. Thanks for reaching out and taking care of all of this. He literally had all of these in stock already. All I had to do was take all of my stuff, send it to Tommy, and he sent these right over to me. Come here. Shit crazy. That's crazy, right? Looks fire. What the, this one is fucking crazy. Yes, Tommy is a grumpy old man. And yes, the Eliminate Boys are young kids. And you know, we do tend to ruin these cars. But Tommy, thank you so much for teaching me a little bit about what you guys do. Tommy also restores cars from literally the ground up. If you guys are interested, go hit him up on Instagram. Give him a follow. You know what I just realized? What? I know why Tommy's bald. That fool was stressing restoring these cars and literally nitpicking and grabbing every single nut and bolt and zinc coating everything. That must be stressful, huh? Yeah, because he probably misplaces a bolt and then he's like, fuck, where'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, Tommy. All right, guys, little update on the RX-7. This is actually turning out to be a lot cooler than I thought. Luke, you want to show them what you've got done so far? Uh, I just spent one line. The hardest part with hard lines is trying to do something different because I've done this car before, same similar setup, and I want to do it different. So I kind of just fuck around until I get something that looks cool. And I got one line that I'm happy with right now, so now I can mirror it on the other side. Look how cool that is. But that's not the coolest part. Let me actually show you guys because Luke just caught me up right now. Check this out. So if you guys look at the seamless tank, 
we're gonna follow this line right here up to the strut bar. Does something look off? There is a hard line going to the strut bar and I actually just asked Luke right now and Luke actually modified the strut bar to hold air, which is so fucking cool. And he pressure tested it and everything. So I guess all Luke has to really do is to replicate that, right? Yeah, and then I gotta do something from here to here on each side, because this is actually where the air comes in. So from the compressors, there's a line that comes around mm -hmm. that'll fill the tank, then this one comes out, goes through the water trap and back to the valve block. And yep. then it'll also just fill up the strut bar and hold the strut bar. The tank's gonna be floating. It's not gonna be sitting on the floor. How freaking cool is that? And check this out, guys. I think, yep, right there, the Car Shop Glow tail lights. If you guys forgot, the car has super expensive chasing tail lights. And these were literally the last ones that I got, and they're brand new. I'm so sad that we're giving this car away. Every single day that passes by, I'm like, why are we giving this car away? But it's too late, I can't change it now. I hope the winner really enjoys this car. <sighs> I'm just gonna walk away. I'm gonna let Luke finish this and we'll come right back. We're starting to really build some cool cars on this channel. This is the car that I'm most excited for. Right now, Luke is working on the V-mount. Check this out, guys. How fucking cool is that? Also, one more thing. I wanna say some of my subscribers, yes, you watching, some of you guys are so creative. I love getting mail from you guys. This is from midnightdreamers.apparel on Instagram. How cool is that? I love getting DMs from you guys, and I love getting stuff in the mail from you guys as well. Remember before Eliminate, was anything, I was in the same exact spot as you guys. Just remember to work hard every single day and to drop cool shit. Look at this, initial dead. That is badass, go check them out on Instagram, guys. This is my first time seeing this. That's a nice tool to have, huh? Yeah, do brake lines and stuff with this too. These, are, these would be big brake lines, because that's, and then I'm just trying to mirror this line, so. It'll have to be trimmed down, but. God damn it, boys. Luke never ceases to amaze me. The tank is done and the hard lines are done. Good job, buddy. I am so freaking hyped. Can we do this in the GTR? Yeah. Hell yeah. Cause this car has got to leave and that means we have zero cars with a hard line setup. But we got one guy with a hard one and that's me. That makes it two now, right? <laughs> Three? <laughs> That's crazy. So the hard lines literally hold the tank up? Yeah. And the tank is so light, I guess that's not an issue. The tank's huh? actually not as light as you think, but the hard, but you have bends in the hard lines, and when they're going opposite ways, it actually holds pretty well. Nice. And you want to tell them a little bit about the seamless tank? Um, I got it. It's seamless. It, it seems less of a tank. It, it's pretty crazy watching them be made though. They have like a patented process that they got a seat that they don't really show, but they like pull the whole thing and drill it at the same time. It's pretty wild to watch. Wow. So there's no burst points. Like a welded tank, they have like a burst pressure of 500 PSI or something. We'll never hit that, but these are like 2,000 PSI. No way. I don't know if you guys are gonna need that for anything, but. No, they just look cool. They look, looks seamless. You know how well. That's where it got the name. So why is it called Hardline? No, the guy that invented these lines was hard as a rock. Well guys, we can start putting the GTR back together. Um, it's gonna be hard because nothing is labeled. I'm gonna do my best. This is gonna take a very long time. Everybody, wish me luck. guys check this out we've done something very weird and I kind of like it an R34.2 hmm should I just pull the trigger that's even more reason to do it though you know it's it's all about doing what people hate 
like a case swap in a 34. That's cool. That's not. What do you guys think? Should we do this? It kind of looks like it belongs. It's crazy how well this GTR bumper fits on the non-GTR. Guys, Luke is way too fast. I literally put on one fender and the RX-7 is done. She's ready to air out for the very first time. Dude, hey, on some real shit, bro. The car is dirty, but dude, that looks so clean. How come none of my setups look as clean as this one? Guys, if you guys think the trunk setup is clean, give this video a thumbs up. Also, the RX-7 isn't tuned yet, so we're gonna connect this to the 350Z. Let's air this up first to show them the lift, yeah? Compressors are on. Airlift controller is on as well. I'll let Luke do the honors, guys. Look, if you're a six footer like Luke over here, you can probably drive this car from the back seat. All right, guys, let's go. Luke, let's see how much the car lifts. Damn, boy. That's crazy. Look, the front lip now has clearance. God damn. Look at this. Now, if one of you guys win this and you don't know how to drive a lowered car, you won't have any more issues. All right, Luke, I know the car is kind of covered, but this is all we can do for now. Air it out. Oh my God. Dude, the fitment of these wheels, perfect. Let me actually take you guys to my favorite part of this car. I think my favorite has to be the rear end with the 99 spec wing. <sighs> Dude. Is it too late to take this car back? Cause I'm regretting every second of this. The RX-7 looks so beautiful. And the new V-mount setup as well. We only have one last thing to do now, and that is to get the tune for you guys. And we have to send her off to the new owner. Luke, you did an amazing job once again. Thank you, buddy. For the final RX-7 giveaway video, we had to clean it up for you guys. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. Huge shout out to Bag Riders for always sponsoring the builds on our channel. If you guys need anything at all, I'm gonna leave a link to Bag Riders website down below. Quick announcement guys, Bag Riders is having an insane Black Friday deal. If you guys wanna find out about the deal, send them an email right here or DM them on Instagram right here. Airlift and a whole bunch of the other companies have increased the pricing on their air management stuff. So if you guys want the best deals, right now is the best time. The Black Friday deal is going on for the entire month. Don't miss out on the best deal of the year. What are you doing, Foo? I got Airlift with my Black Friday deal, bro. <laughs> After today's video, we are not promoting the RX-7 giveaway anymore. The giveaway is finally coming to an end and we will be picking the winner soon. And this is the last drop for the website. Check this out, 
This is our vintage drop, and these tees are based off the colors from our channel. This is the Millennium Jade Vintage Tee. My 240Z is Millennium Jade. This is KH2 Gray, the same color as the R32 GTR. My 34 used to be silver, and this is blush red, the faded color of my S14. These are available in short sleeves and long sleeves. Head to the website. Every dollar spent gets you entered towards winning your dream, my dream, RX-7. That is a wrap for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, go down, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later.